We need that. Two acres for the yard money. Diversified portfolios and bond money. Pull a few strings that guitar money. Try to run up on me? Nah, money. Getting at it from the AM to the PM. Smooth fat boy, that's the door by your BM. They love it when they see him. We still in the hood, but we on top like the alternators in the GM. You feeling this? Welcome to G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Big shout out to all of the sponsors of the channel. All the information is in the description box. And please follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter at Box with G5 Jeff TV. Now, this is another segment of Hardcore Boxing Corner. Basically, when you see this title, we're going to be covering stuff that's not for the casual fan, that's for the hardcore boxing fan. This is information that's not being spoken about, you know, around a lot of people. But we like to cover absolutely everything on this channel. Now, this segment, we're talking about Kermit Centron. Kermit Centron has been around for a long time. Former 147-pound champion of the world. He's fought Canelo, Paul Williams, Antonio Margarito twice. A bunch of other people. His resume is stamped. You've seen him on HBO. And now he's a part of King's Promotions. King's Promotions is a promotional company up and coming. And Kermit Centron was supposed to fight November 23rd. 2019 um in Reading, pa and basically i'm making this video just to air out his opponent this is the part of boxing that i can't stand like i i i hate this shit like never in football or basketball or baseball an event doesn't happen because the players don't show up Kermit Centron was signed up to fight somebody that was from Mexico. Had the contract signed for six weeks. Kermit Centron did everything he could and everything he was supposed to do. Lose weight to get down to the contracted weight. Work hard in the gym and all of that. And what does the opponent do? Not get on the damn plane to come to the States in order to fight his contracted fight. The fighter never showed up. Like that's about as unprofessional. And just just crazy as you can get. Like. At least fake an injury and say you can't. You can't fight because of a fake injury. At least fake an injury. Like just don't go AWOL. Like you just went flat AWOL. And that's crazy. And, and it's so it's so much of a disrespect to Kermit Centron and everybody that's on his team because it's not just Kermit Centron. It's his trainer. It's his promoter. It's the people that bought tickets. Like, this is just, this is sickening. Like, this is sickening. And people don't talk about this type of stuff because it's like, okay, Kermit Centron is not one of the pound-for-pound pound best fighters in the world, so a lot of people not talking about it. No, like when it's an injustice, when stuff is going on in boxing, like I'm going to talk about it. I don't care how popular the fighter is or how popular the card is. It doesn't matter when stuff is done and it's not right. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I don't even know the opponent's name, but the fact that he did not show up, they need to sue him. They need to sue him like they need to sue him, his manager, the promotional company. They need to sue everybody just to make a point, just to let people know, like, you can't just sign up for a fight for six weeks and then you just don't like you just don't show up. Like, what kind of shit is that? Like, that's crazy. Like, that's absolutely crazy. Um, I don't want to see any fighter have to go through that, you know, and not find out until basically the weigh in, basically like. That's absolutely crazy. As far as the guy that didn't get on the plane, I hope he get everything that's coming to him in terms of from a legal standpoint. I ain't talking no gangster shit. And big shout out to Kermit Centron, his team, uh, King's Promotions. And, you know, I told Kermit Centron um, on Instagram that he was going to have something bigger come up his way. Because when stuff like that happens, that just means it's a bigger blessing for you um, moving forward. 
So big shout out to Kermit Centron. Big shout out to King's Promotions. I just hate hearing shit like this. Like this, this shit pisses me off. Like it really, really does. And it may not mean a lot to a lot of people, but it mean a lot to me. Cause I'm a hardcore boxing fan. And as y'all all know, I'm pro fighter at the end of the day. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5JF TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.